I guess it's time to do a little update. Uh, so basically, this is our room. I just want to show this. This is one hell of a block. People are going to go nuts when they see these new blocks. And yeah, got our production set up, making some stuff. The old house. It was worth there. waiting for, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Yep. And we got these transparent pieces, loads of these. Now we've some almost completed our trip around the planet. Yep. And everyone's spelunking because you can do that now. Because <laughs> you have to do that now. Yeah, yeah, it's great. People actually go on the planets and mine the asteroid. It's amazing. So, yeah. I must say, I'm actually having quite a bit of fun here. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a point to flying your ship around. You can actually. I see home plate. Do stuff. It now means that you don't get these perfect, super powerful ships anymore. Yeah. The collision the damage ships. makes it, uh. Oh. It, it definitely ups the game's difficulty. Yeah. Because you have to actually think about landing on a planet. Like, if you're not ready to land on a planet, you just land, like, you lose your ship. Well, yeah, and, like, that's going to be a thing, like, I think, is, you know, have a bigger ship and, and then you'll have shuttles yeah. that are more expendable. Yeah, like crash landing actually is a crash landing, and you will spend a couple of hours building back up from nothing. Dude, I say something now. As soon as we're able to buy in any ship with blocks, I'm turning it on. <coughs> Wait, what? As soon as, because right, you you currently can't buy in for like, say I wanted to buy in my ship with blocks. If I don't have enough room in my inventory for every block on that ship I can't do it right but as soon as that changes we'll have buy with blocks on which means you'll have to have all the blocks for the ship you want to buy in it means you'll have to actually manufacture it means you'll have to actually manufacture or trade everything you want to bring a ship in what, trading? You mean like paying someone to go get materials for you? Obviously admins can still use the load <laughs> command, but it means that if someone wants to come and play on the server, they can build it legit. Oh, I got switched around. Manufacture, the or they can manufacture all of the uh, parts they need. Also legit, you know? Yeah, like when I uh, jumped onto the plane and it switched me in gravity, it turned me around, so I thought I was still going forward. Yeah. Well, that's something I get used to. Yeah. Survival's going pretty well so far, I'd say. You know, to be honest, I feel sorry for those that play this game on their own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's definitely better to do this kind of stuff with a, a small group. Well, to be fair, we also did <laughs> enable one of the harder difficulties, which is with yeah. the collision damage. The collision damage really yep. <laughs> makes this game spectacular. Because you're like, oh god. Uh -huh. Suddenly we have so like, many things for you. You can't just, you know what I mean? You can't just land yeah. on a planet. <laughs> you have to have a docking pad. And even mm -hmm. then, taking off from it is a risky business. Yeah. And well, taking off when you're sideways. Yeah, but that's because we don't have the crafting ability to use a... Do you know what I mean? We don't... Like, the build block's too high level for us right now. We're, we're like Tom, job. wooden tools, you know? <laughs> Oh my, look at that green stream. Thank you guys, thank you. We found presents. Yeah, All right, that's pretty much everything. I can see that. <laughs> lucky I figured out how to burn this all real fast, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that concludes our trip around the world. Ooh, nice little, like, blue and nice column. <laughs> I know, right? I made it out of oh, the Oh, that's the charged stuff. one. Nice. Dude, that's Let's the see top. what Cal wanted to show you. Yeah, that that's the top level. Isn't it amazing? So what's the crystal stuff you got here? Is it uh, just blue crystal? That's level? just some, like, marbly stuff. It's called... Oh, nice. Lar it's, it's called Larimar. Huh. It's a rock. It's a marbly rock. Cool. It's, a, it's a real rock, too. But doesn't that look amazing? I'd have this Yeah, it does. I like it. And where, where the way yeah. it glows, dude, that's my new Wait, computer console. What, uh, 
What texture pack are all you guys using? Because I'm, I'm realistic. I'm and using, it looks awesome. I'm using standard. Can you take a screenshot and link it to me? Yeah, sure. Everyone should be using default, honestly. I'm using default. Default looks beautiful. I'm going to use Same. default for a long time because it's new and I love to push the new stuff. Basically. And that's where we're adding all the shiny. Yeah, they're adding all the new stuff there first. So, But I love the way the lighting from I don't know, this stuff is seems pretty beautiful shiny. Do you know what I mean? It's not actually... Look, if I take this middle one away... Hang on. Da -da 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 -da. Right, if I take it away... Look, it's actually green. What the? Yeah, yeah. What is this madness? Yeah, I know. I don't know. Let me just see if that's the lighting here. Let's just turn the lights off. Actually, that block is blue. What, what, what color is it? Black. <laughs> Okay, let's turn the lights on. Oh wait, what? Yeah, it's blue. It's Laramat, it's blue. I've been yeah. using this in my fusion it's, reactors. Right, so it's blue, right? But then we turned all the lights on, and it's green, right? And then we put the... Well, yeah, yellow and blue equals green. Yeah, right? but then we put the active <laughs> Ramit processor in the middle. And it is green, but kind of blue again. <laughs> I think it's because the processor is, gives off a white light. It's brilliant, mate. It's Something. an awesome effect. Ah. Uh, what? I don't even know how we're going to cover that in a swatch. Just don't. Just leave it. No, but I mean, like... Anyway. Okay. You've given me goodies. It's time to smelt. <sighs> Undoom sounds tired. Well, yeah, I've been up all night. Yeah. <laughs> it's only now, like, one past midnight. I am yeah, sleeping time are. soon. Okay, that's this what I This shit has got me hooked. I want to have a mothership with uh, salvage drills on it. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple of turrets, just designed for... Oh, that's what man. I want to do by tonight. Chris Nightbringer has been trying to... Uh, Chris the Nightbringer has been um, asking to get in and I only just got his message. You know the trick to getting in is you have to crash land. <laughs> Chris. He, uh, Chris. I'll it sounds weird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. And actually I do need to get to bed because I have to be up at like, uh, well let's say in like five hours. Because I'm hoping somebody move hey. tomorrow. Ah, Chris. Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm good. We're doing a bit of a survival challenge, so if you're gonna, if you wanted to join, I know it's late, but if you wanted to join, the condition is you've pretty much got to crash land. That's <laughs> that's that's the plan. Yeah, you just <laughs> gotta crash land here and be stuck on this planet like the rest of us. There's no other way, obviously. Mm -hmm. you, you and obviously be willing to come here in multiple sessions. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll totally do that. I, I know when you're streaming like every... Yeah, it's ridiculous. All the time. <laughs> he starts <All> right. you. <laughs> well... <laughs> uh, let me get out of my single player. One does not simply walk away from Starmate survival mode. No, you don't. Well, not simply walk away from Mushroom Fleet. I was in the midst of building my station. Sorry. Oh, nice. I'll send, oh, no, it's you, okay. I'll send you the IP. Alright. It's colon 4242, obviously. Screw you, right, builders. Guys, oh. Star Trek thing today. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna head out. Alright, man. See you soon. It's been fun, and I will definitely be coming back, because that was freaking amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Cal. Good work. Thank you. Alright, see you guys. See ya. See ya. By the way, Tom, if you come outside, uh, there's a, a line, and that's all the colourful rocks we've gathered. Oh, nice. So we can pick and match what sort of colour set we want for our buildings. I like it. There is eight colour types. Like so you got black and white, then you get three primaries and three blended. Bastin, Verat.
whitelisting. Where, you, where do you stand on the uh, the green uh, minerals? Uh, what? what do I How are we doing on green minerals? Um, I've got 874 bastin, 1,020 30 keen, 1,686 ramet, and 1,613. I know they're purple, but was there any others that are green? Hey guys, I need to be whitelisted. <laughs> <coughs> oh, right. Ben Housing, by the way. So, has anybody figured out slash load command now? Yeah, you use three names instead of two. That's all, that, that's all it is. Yeah, I already figured it out. I did tell people, but I think you weren't around. When you use load, you've got to use a third. Just use the same name three times. It's because... So it, it'll be like load, rave bot, rave bot, rave bot. Yeah. It needs another one, or whatever the name of the blueprint is, and then two names. One for what it's going to be called, and one for what it's going to be copied as. See? Cause gotcha. It, it's for the copy feature. So you could call the copy a clone in the name, and then you know when it's a copy. But anyway, it does, I don't know, I haven't really tested it, but that's how it works. So yeah, three times. Good to go. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. No worries. Is Verat blue? Mm-hmm. All right. So that's okay. We don't need that for anything. I'm just trying to figure out what I can actually burn. You know what I mean? Because... Oh boy. How about do I get to you guys? Uh, basically, there's a trick, fine. Tom. There's a trick. All of it is used for something. The Verat, for example, is useful when making cannons. Get yourself... It's also useful for one of your effect blocks. Ah, uh, got ya. Um, could you, Chris, you need no. to build a little rookie ship type thing with your starter blocks and, um. and save some of the you know, power and stuff if you want, because they're useful, right? Just make a little rookie thingy. And then basically what you want to do is just fly about 1,500 meters away from the shop or the center of the sector that you're in. So just literally fly in any direction for about 1,500 meters, and then I'll teleport you. What, All right. what everyone does is they, they're, they're always in the middle of the sector when they get teleported. But if, trust me, if you fly away, it works 100%. You've just got to make sure that you are... Even if you are on the or edge of the sector... Or just teleport a sector right? away. <clears throat> yeah, but I can just use TP and his name, and the number for this sector is really long. <laughs> Very. Numbers are hard. And I know uh... that if, with a little bit of preparation, we can do this. Because it teleports black lava, him relative. Black water, black poison, red poison. Oh, right. You should be, you should be able to teleport They're placeholders. Yeah, some of it isn't real yet. Okay. Tom, is it just me or is this non-physical? Yeah, some of them are non-physical, I don't know, bugs. 